Hey everyone, Dana with the OT Guide. Today's video is all about toe walking. So what it is, why it happens, uh, common treatments for toe walking, as well as uh, when it's no longer kind of considered a normal part of development. This week's video is a parent request, which leads me to my next topic. If you have any video requests, comment below or email me at theotguide at gmail.com. And if you benefit from these quick videos I make on child development, subscribe to my channel, like this video because it supports what I do. So first things first, what is toe walking? So toe walking is a pattern of walking where the person is just walking on their toes or the balls of their feet. Their heel never comes into contact with the ground. And it's a common way of walking, especially in children who are first learning how to walk. And it's typically outgrown by age two. So let's jump into a quick anatomy lesson. So here is your calf muscle. On top, we have the big muscle, that's the gastrocnemius. And underneath that muscle, we have a smaller, flatter muscle called the soleus. So what's happening to the muscles in our calf when we toe walk? Well, uh, simply put, it's causing a pretty big muscle imbalance because over time, since those muscles in our, in our calf are contracting, they're gonna shorten. They're gonna quite literally get shorter. And um, if this person wants to walk with a regular gait down the line, it's gonna be quite painful because the muscles in their calf are significantly shorter. Toe walking can be indicative of um, underlying conditions. Some people are born with a shorter Achilles tendon. Um, toe walking is also linked to autism, as well as cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy. Um, other people toe walk because they're avoiding sensory input. So maybe they don't like the texture of whatever they're walking on and they don't want their whole foot to touch it. So they just walk on their toes. Um, that's called sensory avoiding. And other people actually toe walk because they like the sensation, it, 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 um, the stress it puts on their calf muscles. And those people are sensory seeking. So now we're gonna start with the most common treatments, starting with the uh, least invasive and most conservative. The first thing we wanna do if we have a student who walks on their toes is we wanna stretch out the muscles in their calf. Like I said before, what's happening is those muscles are contracting and they're shortening. So to counteract this, we wanna stretch out those muscles. So here are a couple of good stretches you can do with your child if they walk on their toes. you might have to disguise stretching in an activity. So for example, you can have your child walk um, up and down hills or have them walk on uneven surfaces, like walking on the sand. These things naturally stretch out our calf like without us consciously knowing about it. Another alternative is you can have your child use light up sneakers. So I like to have my students who toe walk engage in heel walking and Pairing that with those light up sneakers where if they walk on their heel, their shoe has a big visual effect is a really good way to encourage stretching out that calf and including a heel to toe walking pattern. You also want to make sure that your child has the right kind of shoes, if, especially if they're toe walkers. So you want to make sure that they have shoes that have a lot of structure and support high top shoes, meaning shoes that um, aren't low, that go above the ankle are better because it makes it harder to toe walk, uh, as well as lace up shoes are sturdier. Uh, these are all good things to have if you have a child who toe walks. So another treatment approach is serial casting. This is typically a four to 12 week long program where your child's foot and ankle and calf are casted and they're basically casted in a position that progressively elongates their muscles. Um, leg braces as well as orthotics work similarly by elongating that calf. Botox injections in the calf work by making the calf a little bit weaker temporarily, which allows the calf muscle to stretch and elongate, basically allows the calf to be more pliable. And then the most invasive treatment would be surgery. And that's for anyone who's older than five, who no longer can, it's not possible for them to walk with a heel to toe gait pattern because their calf muscles are so shortened by repetitive toe walking. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you all. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment below. And I look forward to catching you all here next week. Bye.